Welcome back. Today, awesome times because we have Tara here with us. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. You excited? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, this has uh, been a long time coming. So as you guys know, if you've seen the video previously on the channel, Tara got an R34 Skyline. Uh, she has been enjoying the crap out of this thing for a while now. It's uh, currently RB25 manual Neo uh, non-turbo, but this thing looks absolutely freaking insane. So damn cool. You been enjoying it? Oh my gosh, it's just the best part of my day, every day. No offense, babe. Hey, none taken <laughs> to be honest, because this thing, nah, I do love it. Um, it's a bit dirty at the moment, but that's kind of the way that things go in the winter. With the crappy weather, it's not, not a lot of point cleaning it when it's just going to get dirty again. She gives this thing hell as it is, um, uh, and she's really enjoying it, but it's definitely time for this thing to get some boost. Do you think? Uh, yeah, I definitely think. I think too. I'm just ridiculously pumped. So it wasn't supposed to happen this quickly, but the other day we were perusing, because we're in lockdown, of course, we are perusing Facebook Marketplace as you do, just chilling. Uh, and we came across a full turbo setup for the RB25 Neo motor. Uh, and the thing is, we've been looking for the stock stuff, all right, for a while. So we don't want aftermarket anything, we want it to be all stock. And the reason for that is, we just want this car to, to hold its value um, and to, to kind of... Tyra doesn't need massive power. She already enjoys it as it is, right? Is that what you do? <laughs> no, I love it. Yeah, yeah, She's pretending like she wants like 500 kilowatts. Uh, she's never had a turbo car before that she had the 8.6. Um, so even any kind of boost for her is going to be super exciting. Uh, we wanted to keep this thing pretty much stock in terms of the, t the turbo setup. Just means that the car's going to hold its value. And, um, you know, it's going to make some more power. But we're not going to blow the motor up, okay? So what we came across was a full stock turbo setup from um, an 80,000 kilometer RB25 Neo. Uh, and it literally came with everything that we need. So we have, first and foremost, the turbo manifold. Stock turbo manifold. Um, we've got the turbo. Now this is the one of the better turbos, the OP6 turbo I think it is. Um, it's got the steel wheel. It's off the R34 RB25 Neo. Um, dump pipe, everything come with it. Uh, oil lines. Then we got the inlet manifold. We got the injectors, downpipe, the stock, everything. The, the, the fuel rail, we got the stock intake. Um, and we got it for a really, really good price. And everything is in immaculate condition, which is quite rare um, for you know JDM stuff. So we definitely hit the jackpot. So when we saw it, we're like, Fuck it, we're gonna buy it and we're gonna commit. And uh, here we are. So today, we're gonna be installing this on the car. And ideally, by the end of this video, the car's running in turbo. We don't really fuck around on this channel, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it. Because, you know, I don't make episode one, two, three, four. We just get this shit done, you know? So, for starters, first things first, we need to pull everything off this motor that is helping it be in a so stock intake the intake manifold the best thing about this car though is it's already got a heavy duty clutch it's pretty well set up for turbo heavy duty clutch you know that right because I it's do. heavy yes. um it's got the uh aftermarket coil packs so they're way better so it's pretty well set up for turbo and the rb25 neo motors really love boost we're going to keep this thing on seven pound it's probably going to make somewhere around 170 to 190 kilowatts which is heaps for tara and a big uh improvement on what it's currently making. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna unbolt everything. So um, sit back, relax, grab yourself a coffee, a cup of tea, whatever you drink, whiskey and coke, if that's your thing. And uh, Stay tuned to watching me learn how cars work. Oh yeah, so let's, let's get it done. You. <laughs> Booyah, we've been slaving away. Tara's learning as we go, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I asked so many questions. He's going to be sick of me by the end of the day. I've been sick of her for six years, so it's all good. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, we're up to a pretty good spot. So we've pulled all of the uh, stock airbox stuff out. I don't want to rush it too much. I want to show you guys kind of what we're up to. Um, and we pulled the heat shield off as well. And now we're at the point where we need to put the car on the hoist and take the exhaust off and then we can pull the stock exhaust manifold off and then we've got a nice clear side of the engine to work with um, and we're also going to take the inlet manifold off as well which is just these bolts along here and whatever lines that are attached to it so so far so good everything's quite easy easy or 
Uh, yeah, I'm getting really good at guessing the sizes of bolts that things are to take things off and work in my way of what can and cannot come off at this point in time. Which yeah, is exciting. that's nice. It's good. So, man, look how ugly those stuff, exhaust manifolds are. Crazy. So, Ew. we will go through what we need um, in terms of oil send and oil return to the turbo. But actually, on these engines, it's quite easy. So, right now, we're going to make a quick trip to speed parts to get a couple of things that we need. And then we're going to come back and we're going to get to work on pulling this exhaust off so we can test fit the turbo, which I'm pumped about. All right, so we've been down to where we need to go uh, to get all the fittings at speed parts. They were helpful. Thank you, guys. Uh, and now we have a band of people here. Damn. Was. Ew. Krona, family, and Tara. And uh, now we're about to take off the exhaust. And the good thing is, right, so here is the exhaust off their stock headers. Comes down to here, right? And then we get the dump pipe off the turbo setup. It literally bolts up. So they'll dump off the turbo down. And it's got the exact same bolts, like uh, place where it bolts up to the exhaust. So no modification needed other than just bolting stuff up. So I'm going to go ahead and unbolt the stock one. That way we can let the car down and then we can unbolt the headers and continue on with our mission. I'll show you guys how all the lines, all lines and stuff are uh, bolted up. Yeah, let's go. Boom. Gone. All right, so now we just put the dump pipe on and it's it, turbo. Just kidding. You excited? I am very excited. This is a big, big moment. Thank you. Stop being a photo. Woohoo! Boom. <sighs> Goodbye. Stock manifold. All right, so we've got the stock manifold off. Which is amazing. It was actually pretty easy. Usually I dread taking stock stuff off cars because there's always broken bolts and stuff like that or rusted bolts or seized bolts. But that was easy, which is sick. So now moving on to putting stuff on. Well, I have to, the, the oil stuff on the side of the engine. So have a look down here and you will see. So for the oil return, there's a bung right here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. And that just has a 3 8 head on it. So all you do is undo that bung and then you have to screw in a fitting, like a, either a barbed fitting or another fitting off a um, RB25 or RB20, I think all the RB ones are the same. That, that um, is just barbed so you can have your turbo drain going in there. So just undo that, put it in, boom, that's your drain done. No drilling into the sump, no nothing like that. So shout out Nissan for making it really easy. Good job Tara. What do you reckon? It looks like a, like a spaceship, oh. eh? Oh, she's just tipping, calling everywhere. And then now we put the other inlet manifold on. Which is this one here. And then we have to figure out where all the lines and stuff go. But it should be pretty simple. Nut. Okay, well, now I'm making that so difficult, but I am. That's it. Oh, you gotta right. line it up with the bolts, Tara. It's way off. That's what I just said. Do you want me to line it up with the bolts? Oh, I thought you meant vacuum lines. No, you've got to put the bolts on. I don't know why I didn't understand. It may not fit with the current fuel rail. You might not be able to put it on at the moment. I don't think we can put it on. It's also a different length. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not the same length. Ooh. So now my front mount intercooler. Should I play it? Ready? I'm gonna play it like a guitar. Ooh, that's good. Sounds nice. It sounds a little eBay-ish, but like it sounds, it's, but it's all right. So it's gonna go here. Um. Alrighty, guys. Tara's over there watching the Olympics. We're cheering on our good friend Tyson Bull. Shout out Tyson. Uh, but anyway, so we ran into a couple of issues. First things first, right? Inlet manifold. Uh, turns out the other one we had didn't fit uh, on our half, bottom half of the inlet manifold. So. We're going to use the stock one, which is fine. We can use the stock one. Um, it's actually probably better for our situation because it just it guarantees that everything's going to run as it should, I guess. You guys will tell me in the comments below if anything's going to be wrong for sure. Um, I'm new to like the plus TRB scene. So obviously, as you can see, I've got some intercooler cool piping here just to make sure everything's going to work. And I'm also test fitting the turbo manifold as it sits. But right now, what we're doing is we are 
drilling into the block, which is really scary. So some of these blocks come with um, just blanking bolts that you can unbolt and you'll have a turbo feed and a turbo drain. So this blank spot down here is where the turbo drain should be. So that other spot that I told you guys before that we unbolted, that's actually a maintenance port and not for the uh, oil drain for the turbo, but we're going to use that anyway. Uh, so Woz has welded up, that's what he was welding before, this crazy thing here, that's our turbo drain uh, bung, which once we paint him pretty up it'll look sweet, bolted in, good to go. Do it all. Yeah, hole in it, no worries. Alright, so that's, that goes in as our turbo drain, into that spot, but yeah, we have to drill into the block at the moment uh, to get the turbo feed. It had the thread there, it had the hole, but it didn't have wasn't it doesn't put oil out the hole obviously because um you kind of got to finish it off i guess uh the factory casting's there but it just needs to be drilled in a bit more so that's what we're doing at the moment really scary do not like drilling into the block but it is what it is once we drill that we're pretty much set up to start bolting the turbo stuff up it's always a complicated process when you're turboing cars and guaranteed you're always going to run into little things little obstacles that you need to overcome but uh so far pretty good so all right, so fast forward, uh, we had a hell of a time drilling into the block. Basically, it was not fun, right? And then uh, we didn't get all the way through uh, and we realized, I looked over the other side, there's actually a sandwich plate already installed on the oil filter because she has diffy gauges in the car and I did not even think about it. So that's a massive rookie mistake. Sorry, Tara. But at the same time, we didn't, nothing's wrong. It's all good, it just makes our life way easier. So the sandwich plate's here under the inlet manifold. And so we have our custom made oil send line for the turbo or oil feed. We don't have a fitting on the other side yet because we don't know exactly how long we want it. So we're going to fit the uh, first side up and then we'll run the oil line around the back of the motor. And then we're going to start putting all the turbo stuff on because everything is ready to go, which is freaking awesome. So the oil uh, return line is down there, good to go. Um, we actually blanked off uh, the part in the block where we started to drill. We'll do that up the bung, um, and so we're ready to put all the turbo uh, set up on, which is cool, so. In the end, we didn't really end up changing much. The intake manifold is the stock one. Sandwich plate for the oil feed, so really not much has changed at the moment. And then we're gonna start fitting the front mount into cooler. Uh, look at, let's get this done. I'm gonna bolt this stuff up, man. So first things first, chuck this on, bolt everything up. You, let's go. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so um, we jacked the engine up a little bit because. Off. Jack the engine off or up? Sorry. Mike, I'm trying I was just checking. to vlog here. Sorry, you go. So we jacked the engine up, oh. up a little bit because um, we couldn't fit this super heavy sump in. And as you heard Mike complain sump? before, I don't know why I said sump. Keep going. We, 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 because we couldn't fit this in. What is that? Our turbo and the manifold. Thank you. Yeah, um, my turbo and manifold. We couldn't fit it in. Um, and as you can see, Woz also thinks it's really heavy, like Mike did. So this here we go. Skinny white boys, that's why. Let's see if we can fit her in. Chunky boys, aren't they? That seemed a little smoother. That seemed a little smoother. Oh. Chuck it in the holes. Get it in the holes, mate. <laughs> nice. Oh, turbo! Turbo! Mike, there's a turbo on my car. I see that. Yeah. I'm freaking stoked about that turbo. Thanks, Woz. Yes, yes. Now it. for the rest of it. It's not done yet. All the little jobs really. take the biggest amount of time. I'm just going to chuck a bolt on for you. Sick. So before we fit the front mount into cooler, we want to give a massive shout out to Max Speeding Rods who sent it out for free for Tara. Thank you! Amazing. Amazing. So they sent the intercooler and they sent a universal piping intercooler kit. So it comes with a whole bunch of piping, uh, silicon joiners and the hose clamps that you'll need um, to fit your intercooler. So the universal kits are pretty rad because they've got two 180 degree bends, two 90 degree bends, two 45 degree bends, two straights and then a whole bunch of silicon joiners um, which is sick. So thank you very much. Max Speeding Rods, the links in the description below if you want to check it out, as well as all the other stuff. And there's a code there for you guys to grab a certain percentage off that I forgot what it is, but you'll see it in the description. So thanks, Max Speeding Rods. Cheers, guys. You guys are legends. You. Yeah. We're pretty well through the turbo setup now. We've got the turbo on. Uh, all lines are all done. O2 sensors plugged in, uh, and now we're starting to work out the intercooler side of things. Was is making up some brackets right here. Yeah, boy. There's not really much else to, to say, to be honest, guys. This thing's dope. Oh, the dump pipe bolted up beautifully, so the whole exhaust system is good. 
Um, yeah, man, I'm stoked on it. How you doing? Not as stoked as I am. Yeah, you're stoked. Do you know how a turbo works now? How does a turbo work? A turbo, do I have to write? Yeah, yep, yeah, tell us. How does a turbo work? Um, so the turbo hooks up to the thing where um, the, exhaust. the exhaust is. And then as the exhaust air is coming out, it attaches to the turbo, which spins the thing, which sucks it in quicker and makes it compress and makes the car go faster because more air is in the engine, making bigger explosions and stuff. Not bad. Not bad? <laughs> nice. That's good. I thought that was a great explanation. Everything gets turbo. You get a turbo. You get a turbo. You get a turbo. This thing has a turbo, but it's a giant nugget. All right, we're going to keep on cracking on. So next up, cutting up into cooler piping and putting it all on and whiz bang. And then we'll be able to start the car and hear the sutu tutu noises. Amazing. <laughs> So front mount is mounted. I always, I find it's another really exciting moment of uh, the turbo builds when you get to mount the front mount. There's just something about having a front mount intercooler that is awesome. And this is your first one. It's my first ever one. And Congratulations. I always, I don't know, I, even before I knew what they did, I always thought they looked real cool. And now I look real cool, but I know what it is. <laughs> Team, it is time. Tara's doing up literally the last clamp left to do up. That'll do. That's it. Kit done. Yay! Look at that. All done. 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 Huge thanks to Woz. Make sure you go check out his channel. He does so much stuff for me. You guys need to go watch all his stuff. He's a madman. I know that it doesn't look super amazing at the moment. Obviously, RB is notorious for having lots of intercooler piping. It's just kind of a normal thing, but we will uh, endeavour to tidy a bunch of this stuff up at a, a later date. Um, but for now, we just wanted to get it together, get it going. So um, without further ado, do you want to start the car? Oh, that felt so weird. I would love <laughs> really? to. Really? <laughs> Only fans or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sign up for Sign up for Only Five Fans. <laughs> yep, if you're ready, Tara, you can start her up. I'm so nervous. I know, it runs so well. Nice, how's that? Runs good. Here, give us some. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Do it again, do it again. Hey, there's your car. Come on, one more time. It's, it won't lean out, we'll just start with that all. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Oh, you even have to... <laughs> oh. Good? Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, we're unsure about the stock intake, what we have to do um, for that because there's like a valve here that moves. So we're not sure whether that's going to implement anything or kind of have any effect. But you guys will tell me in the comments. It's the best thing about you guys. So let me know if anything to do with this RV25 Neo intake uh, needs to be modified. But um, right now we're going to chuck the front bumper on. Tara's actually driving this home tonight, so we're just going to triple check everything, all the lines, make sure it's all good. But guys, that's the turbo go. conversion in, in, in about 10 hours. Um, <laughs> everyone pushed super hard. We had a couple of complications, as you do. Um, we, we could have gone home a lot earlier, but we wanted to push through and kind of get it done, so good? It was 14 hours, including food breaks. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you go. there you go. Got to be, got to be accurate to the point. There you get paper smoker. Okay. Thank you, Paper Snogo. Uh, I want to say a massive thanks to Max Beating Rods for hooking up the intercooler piping and the intercooler, but also a huge thanks to Woz 
he did most of the the hard stuff. Papa yeah, he really killed it. Um, just stoked, man. What we wanted was a stock looking setup, and what we got was a pretty darn stock looking setup, and it sounds good. So next up, we need to tune it, and then we got to get Tara's reactions for first drive, <laughs> which are going to be good. But uh, how are you? We'll chuck the front bumper on first, and let's kind of get it out on the street. So it is the following day after getting some much needed sleep last night, we're back. This thing is freaking done and it is so freaking cool. So here's a couple of in-car shots. Uh, we drove it home last night from the factory, Tara drove it, how was it? Oh, it was so good. Obviously. Yeah. I was a little sad that I couldn't like super send it, but it was still great. Yeah, it's on stock tune, so um, can't really give it any boost, uh, but regardless, you can hear the turbo working and you, it flutters and it's awesome. We actually took it for a couple of... Uh, we took it for a wee drive today just to make sure everything was all good, no leaks, no nothing. Here is a couple of in-car shots for you guys to listen to. So as you can hear, it sounds absolutely amazing. Next up, obviously, is to get a tune. We'll be taking it to Dr. Drift. We've got an RB25 DET Neo ECU with a NIS tune board that we're gonna chuck in it, and he's gonna go ahead and tune it. Uh, we've also got to tidy up a couple of things. So this is not its final form, but it's pretty darn impressive that in the morning yesterday, we drove this into the factory, non-turbo, and then in the evening, we drove it out. Well, when I say in the evening, it was like 1 a.m. Yeah, it was like 12. I think we got in bed at once. Yeah, so. so, and this thing drove out turbo and drove home, no issues whatsoever. So, absolutely over the moon. If there's anything you think we've missed, chuck it in the comments below. Still got to work out this uh, stock intake system and make sure that it's all good for boost. But other than that, man, absolutely stoked. Well done. Very, very stoked. And of course, Tara learnt some stuff along the way. Although she did tell me she wants to learn a bit more because she feels like we kind of didn't teach her enough yesterday. But that's cool. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, hit that subscribe button because this is what we do for you guys on the channel. We bring you rad projects and we smash them out. So uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button as well. Follow me on Instagram at it's Mike Lake at Tara Romanen for Tara if you want to see more of this R34. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're tuning this bad boy. You. You. Peace. Come with me if you want to live.